Welcome to the ADF Insider Essential Series, which demonstrates the essential skills, tips, tricks and techniques that you will require for building ADF applications. In this demonstration you will see one implementation in ADF that solves three problems. The first problem is how to start an ADF search form which uses the AF query component in advanced mode in opposite to the basic mode it usually starts in. The second problem is how to perform case insensitive queries using this search form. And the third one which is related, how can you customize the table search filter that by default is applied to a table on top of a column when you select the filter option on the table creation dialog. My name is Frank Nymphius and I'm from the Oracle ADF and JDevapa product management team. Before getting into the details, let's have a look how you normally build a search form in Oracle ADF. Assuming your business model is set up with ADF business components, the data control that is exposed in the data control panel is the application module and that application module lists view object instances that you use as a collection to build tables and forms. The view object instance exposes attributes, nested or detailed view object instances, but also two nodes one for the operations and one for named criteria. And the default criteria that all view objects have is the all queryable attributes criteria. So to build an ADF search form, you drag the all queryable attributes criteria and drop it onto a Java Services page. From the open context menu, as shown in step two, you choose the query option and then you select how you want to have the search form being built, just the form or a form and a table to show the result set. If you choose a search form with a result set as a table, then another dialog is opened to allow you to further configure how the table should render, what type of um, options like sorting or filtering is provided, and what are the number and the ordering of attributes displayed in there. At runtime, this is what you get. You get a basic search form. That means that all queryable attributes are displayed with input fields, and then you can provide a criteria you hit the search button and the table would show the result set. Now what if that is not what you want? What is if, if you want to have something like this, more advanced, giving you more options to specify now where in a search string or where in a value of an attribute the search string appears or should appear or should look at. Starts with, ends with, contains. Now this is the advanced mode. Now if you want to have your idea of search form starting in the advanced mode, then this is not what we get by default. To implement that solution, three little steps are required. So one is to create a custom view criteria. And the view criteria is a named where clause, as I will detail later in the demo. You will add all queryable attributes as the default implementation will do. And then the form, the search form is what you create from your custom view criteria and no longer from the default view criteria. The sample application I created for this tip consists of two projects, a model project and a view controller project. The model project is built with ADF business components, which means that the ADF business components application module is exposed as a data control in the data controls panel. For all the view object that the data control exposes as a collection, I see two folders, an operation folder and a name criteria folder which by default contains the all queryable attributes as we've seen on the slides already. The instance of my view object is all employees, which I find defined in the application module data model. Here we have all employees. And if I want to see which view object that is associated to, I just go to the view definition and that gets me to the employees view object definition. Selecting the query category and scrolling down, I do have the view criteria category. Placing the green plus icon now allows me to create a new view criteria. Now what is a view criteria? A view criteria is a named where clause that I can assign to a view object query at design time or dynamically at runtime. So what I need to do now is I need to get a list of all queryable attributes so that I have the exact same number of attributes in my custom view criteria as I would have in the default criteria. For this, I just press the Add Item button and I continue doing this until I see 
a possible reference of a view object, which in this case the employee's view in the HR schema has, because I don't want to have this, and for that reason now I need to select the attribute. But still I'm continuing just adding all queryable attributes. ID this is my custom definition of all queryable attributes as I mentioned in the beginning on the slides that we can use the same technique to build case insensitive queries let me give you that tip first if you select a string attribute then here you have a checkbox that you can check whether or not you want to have a case insensitive query for that attribute. By default it's checked, that means you always query that attribute insensitive. To build our search form as an advanced form, we need to provide a UI hint and when I click on the UI hint tab you see that there's a search region mode and this can be set to advanced or basic and this actually defines how the search form initially renders when this view criteria is used as a search form in ADF. So let's set this to advanced and I can also specify where do you want to have the search being performed. Just always go to the database in which case I would query for committed data, do this in memory in which case I would query on data that I have fetched from the database or updated on the client or just to search on both. When I refresh the data control panel, go back to my view instance, then my new criteria has been added to the name criteria. To build a search form from the custom view criteria, you select the criteria and just drop it onto the Java Surfaces page. This opens the context menu for you to choose what type of search form you want to build. In this case I'm building a search form that has a panel with the searchable attributes and a table to show the result set. For the table I configure a single row selection so I can continue working with the table allowing the user for instance to have a selection for the employee and then an edit form to continue editing this employee. I can also specify filtering in which case every table column would show a filter which would allow you to type in a search condition in a specific for a specific column and then have the table being queried based on what you typed in there and I can also specify sorting. This is the table and this is the search form and as you see the search form is built based on the AF query component so you don't see at design time the attributes but at runtime we would see all the attributes as I had this on my slide. Well, in the demo I already showed how to build case insensitive queries, which is a second problem statement I had on my initial slide. Now, let's go and look into the third problem, which is to customize the table filter that when you configure a table to be filterable, to use the same view criteria, your custom view criteria so that you can influence or modify the way that the filter searches. So when you create a table in Oracle IDF, you simply drag a collection onto a page and then from the context menu you choose editable table or read-only table. In the table configuration dialog then you have the option to specify whether or not you want to have the table columns being searchable. So selecting this option and now JDWebper creates a table with searchable columns. So I can now provide search conditions for each of the columns, hit enter and the table will be requeried to show only those records that meets my uh, requirements. So how do I customize it? By default it will use the all queryable attributes view criteria. Now I want to customize this to point it to one of my view criteria so that I can tailor 
the filter for instance have case insensitive queries or whatever. One information to give here is if I click on the bindings tab then we have a look at the page definition file and the page definition file you also find in the application navigator which is in here and it's created for every page. Now I have two entries in this binding file when I drag and drop a table and I configure it to be filterable. The first entry is the table binding as we can see here but there's another entry in the executable section which is the all employees query named after the view object instance. This is a search binding and the search binding is invoked by the query listener of the table when I hit enter. And there's an attribute called criteria and as you might guess if I provide the name of a named view criteria in here then instead of the default this named view criteria will be used. So all I would need to do to get my view criteria in here is just copy and paste the name of the named view criteria into the criteria item here and then next time I run the page it will not use the default anonymous or all queryable attributes view criteria but my custom view criteria. To learn more about Oracle IDF please visit the Oracle JDeveloper homepage on the Oracle website. The address is oracle.com technology JDEV as printed on the slides and there we provide reference to sample downloads, tutorials, access to the discussion forum where you can ask your questions and get them answered by experts. We provide developer guides and a lot more information all around Oracle IDF and how to build applications successfully with Oracle IDF and the JDeveloper IDE.